Hey guys and welcome back to a new video and actually a super quick video today in which I will show you how you can preview the unpreviewable in Android because there are certain types of composables in Jetpack Compose that we can load that we can show in a really install app very easily but previewing these at the compose preview is not possible by default the best and most common example for that are async images so coming from coil where you just load an image from some kind of url here you can see when i launch this app then it looks like this this is actually loaded from the network from this url um, so everything seems to work just fine but when we then open the preview for this profile image composable, you will notice that it's actually uh, not really broken. It shows something, but it just shows um, a blank space for this image. And the reason is simple, because the preview just does not have any access to more complex logic that goes beyond what UI logic is about. So the preview can't really fetch an image from a network, for example. Uh, you would also be able to face this issue when you would have something like um, a video view, where you want to show a video in your UI. You would also not be able to preview this. Or imagine something like you implement a video calling app where, where, you can, where you can actually have a call with people and you have some kind of video call rendering view where you just render uh, the, the current frame from uh, from the video call. You would face the same issue there because the preview is obviously not a, a fully fledged video calling app so you would need to think of some kind of different solution for this. So first of all what is not possible is that we make the preview suddenly able to download images from a URL or that we allow it to really play some videos or that we allow it to actually have a video call so that's not possible but what is certainly possible is that we work with placeholder views, placeholder composables that just show for the preview and not in our production app. And the way this works is, let's take the example of Coil because that's probably what you will work with the most often or where you will have this issue uh, the, the most often because especially if you use a lot of images in your UI and you have a lot of these blank spaces, it doesn't really look realistic. So what we want to do is we want to actually check if we are currently in the preview and if so, we just display a local placeholder image for that just for the preview. And the easiest way with Coil is that we just swap out an async image with a so-called subcompose async image. Uh, so that is a special async image composable from Coil um, that allows us to display certain other composables in loading states uh, when there was an error to, uh, with loading, when it was successful. So we can really change the, um, the actual content of what is being loaded here. If we just leave it like that, um, nothing will change. But what we can now do is with this subcompose async images, we can have this error field, this uh, this error lambda here, which is a composable lambda, and this will fire when Coil, uh, when Coil uh, was unable to load the image. And whatever we now put in here uh, will uh, fail to load, uh, will actually show well, when, when Coil failed to load the image. You can see now this text will display here. But if we do it like this, it will also show when uh, an image fails to load in the real app. So when there is no internet connection, for example, then obviously this can also fail. So we might want to distinguish between the real app and the preview. And we can very easily do this with an if check. If local inspection mode dot current, which is a Boolean, when this is true, we know that we are currently in the preview. So anything we put in here in this if condition will now only show up in an error case and only for the preview. So what we could do here, for example, is we could just load a normal image with a painter, like a painter resource. So we just load a local image from our uh, local resources. I've already added that called Kermit. You should give it a content description. And then you can see we have our image in the preview, which is obviously not the same as our image from the production app. Um, but if you would want that, if you would have, uh, if you would want to have realistic images, um, assuming you would have some kind of dog app here, you could of course also um, store such a placeholder dog image just for the previews. If you then want to have a different indicator that uh, shows that an image couldn't be loaded in your real app, then you can of course just come up with an else branch here. Uh, and show some kind of icon or so uh, that shows that loading failed. So image vector would be icons default. Um, I don't know, is there an exclamation? For example, here, this warning icon would fit pretty well. We can then give it a content description of null. And we say the tint is colored at red or so. Just as an example, you can see in the preview, we still see our placeholder image uh, since we just simulate successfully loading an image. But in our production app, if we uh, relaunch this and actually uh, turn on airplane mode, then you will notice that it loads the same image uh, because obviously it's uh, cached with coil. But after uh, clearing the app's local cache, you can see um, that we actually see our real error image here, uh, which only shows up for the real app now and not for the preview. And depending on what kind of composable you are unable to really preview, 
um, be, it, be it a video view, be it a, a video call render composable or so, um, you can of course think of something that looks realistic. So for example, also just display a frame from a typical video call um, and then you have really realistic uh, previews in Compose. Awesome, that's it already. Thanks so much for watching. Down below you will find links to more advanced Android premium courses. So if you really want to become ready for the industry as an Android developer, check these courses out since they will prepare you for that. Have an amazing rest of your week. See you back in the next video. Bye-bye.